Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. Well, what we have here, this becomes 5 raised to the power x minus. This follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n. This same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. But this we can write as 5 raised to the power x over 5 raised to the power 1 equals to 30 on this side. Then this same thing as 5 raised to the power x minus. Yeah, we have 5 raised to the power x times 1 over 5 raised to the power 1, which is 5, equals to 30 on this side. But this 5 raised to the power x is common. And factor it out. We have 5 raised to the power x into brackets. Yeah, we have 1 and minus. 1 over 5 left here. Close brackets. Then equals to 30. On this side, then when we bring this together as one fraction, this is one over one. This is our five raised to the power x into bracket. SCM is five. One in five, five, five times one, that's five minus five in five, one, one times one, one, close bracket equals to 30 here. At this, we have five raised to the power x times five minus one, that's four, then over five equals to 30 on this side then we remove this 4 or 5 on this side and multiply both side by the reciprocal which is 5 over 4 also multiply this side by 5 over 4 now this here this cancelled each other then we have 5 raised to power x equals to 30 times 5 over 4 which same thing as 5 raised to the power x equals to 2 times 15 times 5 then over 2 times 2. At this here, 2 cancelled each other. This becomes 5 raised to the power x equals to 15 times 5 over 2 a. Then Next step here, we take the log on both sides. Here we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 15 times 5 over 2. As this, here we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, this is the same thing as p log m. At this here, we have x log 5 equals to log 15 times 5 over 2 here. That is this. Also, this follows the law of log n. When we have log a times b over c, we can write this as log a plus log b minus log c. That is, here this becomes x log 5 equals to log 15 plus log 5 minus log 2. That is, here we divide both sides by log 5. Divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5. At this here, log 5 comes with each other. We have x equals to, we can split this in three fractions. And we have log 15 over log 5 plus log 5 over log 5 minus log 2 over log 5. Then, yeah, we have log 5 comes with each other. One left here, which implies x equals to, I write this first as 1 plus log 15 over log 5 minus log 2 over log 5. Then, yeah, also, we can split 15 as 5 times 3. As this, this equation becomes x equals to 1 plus log 5 times 3 over log 5 minus 
log 2 over log 5. Then, yeah, also we apply the law of logarithm. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 minus log 2 over log 5. Then, here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 minus log 2 over log 5. Then also here, log 5 cancel each other. We have one left. This x equals to 1 plus 1, that's 2, then plus log 3 over log 5 minus log 2 over log 5. Then here we apply change of base. When we have log a over log b, this same thing as log a to base b. This we have x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 5 minus log 2 base 5. As this is the value of x here, we have x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 5 minus log 2 base 5. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute. The value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 5 minus log 2 base 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 5 minus log 2 base 5 minus also 5 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 5 minus log 2 base 5 then we have minus 1 here is it equals to 30 on this side then yeah we still have this as 5 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 5 minus log 2 base 5 then minus here we have 2 minus 1 that's 1 that's why raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 5 minus log 2 base 5 this is equals to 30 on this side then we apply the law of indices here what we have here can be written as 5 squared times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 over 5 raised to the power log 2 base 5 minus 5 raised to the power 1 times 5 raised to the power log 3 base 5 over 5 raised to the power log 2 base 5. Then is it equals to 30 on this side? Then yeah, 5 square 5 times 5, that's 25 times. This follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b that is this 3 then over 2 minus 5 raised to power 1 is 5 then times also 3 over 2 is this equals to 30 on this side then 25 times 3 that's 75 over 2 minus 5 times 3 that's 15 then over 2 is it equals to 30 on this side then we bring this together as one fraction. In this here we have the same as 2. Then 75 minus 15, that's 60. Is it equals to 30 on this side? And 60 over 2, of course, that's 30. Which is equals to 30 here. Left hand side now equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that's x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 5.
minus log 2 is 5. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn notification bell on. Share this video with Thompson and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.